Dane here back to uh, work on the wiring uh, for the DC to DC charger and today we're going to be installing the wiring on the truck uh, and you see I have it laid out here on the ground so I have you know of course red for positive and then I'll have black uh, for my negative going to the back of the truck but also if you notice I have a small yellow wire here and so after reading the directions on the Victron I'm going to hook this yellow wire to my auxiliary switch which is 5 amps and then I'll just be able to control turning the charger on and off from the truck. Yeah, here I'm just taping the uh, positive, the negative wire together along with the voltage sensing wire that I'll use on auxiliary switch one to control the charger. Uh, it's just a tedious process that helps keep all the wires together to uh, install the wire loom over it. And I think here in a second you'll see me right here starting to install the protective wire loom covering because this wire is going to go underneath the truck and it needs to be protected. So that's, that's kind of the same. Put that on there and then tape it all up and then it'll be eventually uh, tie wrapped to the bottom of the truck. All right, uh, I've got the wire loom. I have uh, 24 feet of wire loom, which is protective outside cover. You know, it just looks like the factory stuff here before I put it on this truck. Now, I have that on. This is half inch for what I have here, which looks to be just perfect. And now I'm going to go and put some um, electrical tape every so often on there. And one thing I want to say about electrical tape, don't skip on your electrical tape, you know. Uh, don't buy it at Dollar General. Go to maybe an electrical supply house or something and get some good 3M tape that'll stick, stay on there and you won't have to be worried about it uh, coming loose later. Okay, got the um, wire loom on the wire and now it's time to pull it up into the truck. And so I had, you know, a spare piece I cut off of the battery cable and I'm going to, uh, I've got it routed down here on the driver's side of the truck where I run to run it uh, and talking to John Romer he ran his around the driver's side over to the passenger side because uh, the availability of connections and on the passenger side on these diesel trucks the exhaust system runs down the frame and even though I could run the wire on the outside of the frame I probably I'm thinking smart to run it on the uh, driver's side to just stay completely away from any type of extra heat uh, from that exhaust system over there so here we go i got to get under the truck and uh, tape the uh, wiring to my pull wire here so I can pull it up through here okay here I have it taped up nothing pretty but should do the job uh, I don't think there's really any obstacles holding us so We'll see how this goes. Okay, that didn't take but a second. I had the uh, wire pulled out and then we'll uh, see if we can find a place where to really mount this to and run across the other side of the truck all right so i'm uh, working on the wiring harness in the truck and so around the front i came over on the driver's side which if you see right here you can see the wire loom going around i'm going to tuck that behind the battery box and underneath of it uh, later uh, but I wanted to show you this before I put the front cover on so the wiring harness is running right behind this support member and around here and then it, it call covers with this uh, plastic piece you know kind of like so 
and it's got the uh, kind of push pin uh, plastic push pins to hold that on very easy to undo I mean if you your vehicles old sometimes they break but mine they came out real easy here at the top so I'll just have to put that back in take five minutes with the push pins but for now I'm going to leave it off until I completely finish everything uh, just in case I have to make an adjustment or something I don't foresee that but it's just too easy to leave it uh, unclipped uh, until I get through with the rest of the harness all right that took a little minute uh, we have the wiring harness still stretched out here I have all the wire loom on it all the way now and I will be tucking that up underneath but first uh, I've got to address this cable coming on top of the battery so underneath the truck here I'm just going to follow the factory harness and you can see where my wiring is running along with the factory cable and it just runs parallel with it Let's see if I can get a better shot here all along the truck to the back so I did drop the spare tire so I could run it up make it a little easier back there but uh, that's it that's the final installation for the cable on the truck okay so we're almost done uh, with the wiring for the truck and uh, also the trailer uh, and so you I have everything ready here here's my negative cable going to the back I haven't um, hooked it up yet and then I have my positive cable it's laying here in the crack and I also put um, my uh, 60 amp circuit breaker right here mounted it to the side of the truck and you see I have my red cables let me see if I can get a better shot of it going in or not now I know some of these I didn't look this one up need to be upright or something to work uh, I don't have it mounted upright so let's hope that works somebody can comment I guess uh, so and then you see uh, I, I'm going to use my auxiliary switch to turn on and off the charger and so the fuses are in here the factory fuses and it's either 20 or 25 amp um, I'm thinking this is 20 amp but anyway I put a uh, fuse link in here so I have my own fuse which I have 5 amp in there and then you see this and once I get all this mounted I'll tie wrap that up but pretty pretty good to go here at the front of the truck everything's uh, tied in and underneath so yeah the only thing I need to do is get on my Anderson connector put it here uh, and then figure out how I'm gonna mount it I might just leave it loose now I do have a flush mount for the Anderson connector I was thinking about putting it right here uh, but I'll wait and get the truck backed up to the trailer uh, but I might just leave it loose and tie wrap it let it kind of hang down for uh, the first go around to see how it works or I don't know I might put that uh, flush mount uh, weatherproof connector in there also so we'll see now moving over to the trailer uh, we got a big mess in here but here's my cabinet uh, and so here's what the the bottom cabinet now, I don't know if I showed this in an earlier video but it is a I mean it's a mess in there if you, you can look at that so uh, you can already see I have my positive made up and I have my 60 amp fuse here and then I have my negative cable going to the bus just sitting there ready uh, and look at all this crowded cabinet I could have mounted this maybe here but it was going to cut off some airspace I'm thinking for the inverter and stuff just give it plenty of room and I said you know what I'll just go to the cabinet above which let me let me see if I can back out here and get you a picture so that's what it looks like I have it on this wall here I'm fixing to make the connections going to the truck and of course I'm um, not going to make the ones going to the trailer itself right now until um, you know I go through and, and put the settings in the charger here is the final connections for the truck and the trailer here's the trailer right here uh, with my Anderson connector 
and then here's my auxiliary wire so I can plug that in and control when my DC to DC charger uh, comes on. Here's the truck, uh, the Anderson connector and the connector for the auxiliary switch wire to control when the DC to DC charger comes on. I'm not going to leave it like this. I uh, used it where it plugged in, you know, like this on the trip. Uh, try it off the first time to see what angle and how this was going to work. So I think I'm going to mount my flush uh, Anderson connector maybe somewhere down here. I'll have to look and see where I can mount it here. But somewhere in this area, I'm thinking, uh, possibly here. We'll see how that goes. So that's it for the back connections of the Anderson. I can tell you uh, it worked great on the trip. So, Okay, here's my wire to turn the charger on and off. Uh, well, I think it goes into H side uh, and it's hooked to my auxiliary switch in the truck, which I just showed you the fuse. And uh, we'll be able to turn this charger on and off by just using the auxiliary switch, which is its own auxiliary number one. Okay, here's the final installation uh, of the Orion, Victron Orion, uh, 12 volt to 12 volt, 30 amp DC to DC charger uh, in the trailer. And so you can see here's the wiring in the bottom box here and fixing to put the uh, cover and everything back on and we'll be done with this project in the trailer. Here's a shot from after our trip of use and you can see Diane has a bunch of supplies in the cabinet. We keep there and here's the charger and it uh, got a little warm in there. We checked it quite a few times and then quit worrying about it, but nothing to be concerned about. It worked great. Thanks for watching the wiring install on the 2022 F350 trimmer for the DC to DC Victron charger, DJ2 living in real time. Leave some comments below. You like it, you don't. Subscribe, follow, and share. Thanks again.